Hi, I'm Nigel, and this is Nigel Goes to Space. I've had a question in about quasars. What is a quasar? Well, in short, it is the most brilliant, bright, powerful object we know in the universe. We know thousands of them now. Fortunately for us, they are billions of light years away. If there was one right on our doorstep, it would fry us up. Quasars were discovered back in the 1960s when people were looking at radiation coming from the sky, picked up by radio telescopes. And in fact, I did my research at Cambridge on quasars, trying to investigate these weird phenomena. If you point an ordinary telescope at this part of the sky, you find what looks like a star. In fact, quasi-stellar object was the original name of these objects. It was shortened from quasi-stellar object, which is a bit of a mouthful, to uh, just to simply quasar. But the astounding thing was when we discovered that they're not nearby like an ordinary star, they're way out at the edges of the universe. And to be so bright but so far away, they had to be incredibly powerful. A tiny object putting out more energy than a whole galaxy of billions of stars. And what could it be? For years, literally decades, we really didn't know. But new telescopes investigating more and more detail point us to just one conclusion. First of all, they occur in the middle of galaxies. They don't lie out in space on their own. We're looking at something at the centre of a distant galaxy, but something so brilliant it's difficult to see the surrounding galaxy around it. And what that thing is, is a black hole. Not just any old black, black hole, but a, what we call a supermassive black hole, which is as heavy as literally billions of suns. Imagine taking billions of stars like the sun, crushing them down till they shrink under their own gravity, and that gravity becomes totally immense. Then gas swirls around it, and as it swirls around, like uh, water going down a plug hole with maybe some dust and dirt, it forms a disk going around that black hole, and that disk glows incredibly brightly. Uh, as the gas gets hotter and hotter before it falls into the black hole and disappears from the universe. And a quasar is so powerful, it can swallow up not just streams of gas in space, it can swallow up a whole star, ripping a star like the sun apart, spewing its gases into space and creating a burst of light that we see right across the entire universe. Thanks for joining me today and please send in your burning questions about the universe, whether it's about stars, galaxies, missions to planets or human beings going into space. And don't forget to subscribe to Nigel Goes to Space on the Naked Science channel.